Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're coming across a Microsoft Word issue that says a word couldn't start last time. Safe mode could help you troubleshoot the problem, but some features might not be available in this mode. Do you want to start in safe mode and you're prompted with either a yes or a no? So as you keep coming across this every time you're relaunching the Word application, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving this problem without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. And we are going to start off by opening up the Start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. Before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the File tab and then Export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range, keep that at all. And then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and navigate to that file location. So again, very straightforward to do that. And we're going to go ahead and begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. And now you want to locate Office. Double click on it. And in my case, it's version 16. If you have another number in here, it's OK. Um, don't be too concerned about that, but in my case it's 16, and then we're going to expand that. Now it should be a common folder in there. Double click on it. You want to look for an open find folder in here. If you do not see an open find folder, you want to go create it. So in order to create a folder, just right click on the common folder, select new, and then select the key. Name this key open find exactly how you see it on my screen here. So again, open find hit enter on your keyboard to save that and now on the right panel here in a blank area right click select new and then select the dword 32 bit value you want to name this value enable shell data caching c a c h i n g again enable shell data caching exactly how it appears on my screen so i know people think caching c a s h no it's c a c h i n g exactly how you see it on my screen. I'll zoom in further so you guys really shouldn't have any problem seeing it. Hit enter on your keyboard, double click on this value, type the numerical number of one, so just type one, that's it. Select OK. At this point you can close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and you should no longer be experiencing that error message. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.